Back on Patty's pup again, Rosie. Boy, every time I play with this thing, I feel like Biggles. Except Biggles had a camel. But anyway, the feeling's still there. And if you don't know who Biggles was, well, I don't know if we can be friends. Best you go and look that up. That's all right, I'll let you off this once. Things we're learning about the pup and this design. Um, it's been a hell of a learning curve, actually. We're quite surprised with some of the things we have to relearn. So, um, that's what I sort of the inspiration behind this video was all about. You've got to remember that this thing is, this design is over 100 years old. So, back then, things were different and I hadn't learned a lot yet. So, um, and that's what we're rediscovering at the moment. So one of the big things that we've learnt with this engine is cooling. Not so much the cylinders, I mean they get, they cop all of the air as it is, but I don't know if you can see in the back here, we spent a lot of time getting cooling to the back of the engine. So you may notice this is the firewall of the original design, but there's a dirty big hole cut out in the back there. So we've cheated a fair bit and put the firewall a fair ways back. And that's just to get the volume of air through to the back of the engine. So the trouble with these things is air cooling. The, we're getting vapor lock and heat sink into the back, into the back parts here where all the important parts are, like your carburetor and fuel lines and oil pump. So we've got ducting here, as well as another one on the other side. So we're getting direct cold air into the back. And we've also been playing around with the fuel mixture to make them a little bit richer. And we've been playing around with the fuel manifold as well, just a little bit, just to get not non-vaporized air into the back. But the big thing there we've noticed is this volume of air that we want to get through there. So the, there's a false firewall, and you can see it's a fair way back into the into the fuse leaves there. But I think that's a fairly important thing that... That's the firewall there, you see. So yeah, here we go. So what are we about? At least six inches back from the original firewall. And that just gives us that extra flow through there. Howling is just like the old ones where there's that cable here and a little groove which okay. is in the firewall as well. So that cable there and then you tighten it up like buggery and then lock wire the turnbuckle. We've all seen Kermit Weeks' pup throw a engine cowling in flight, so we always make sure that that's pretty tight. And that's how it's done. Once it's 
see if he can taxi out here all by himself without a wing walker. We'll see how that goes. Two to 35 knots. Did you have idle? Did it stall before idle? No, I, I had it at about, um, I think about 800 revs. Yeah, it looked as though it just basically stopped in the air. <laughs> and, but it's, it's, it's so gentle. Yeah, nice. Didn't try and drop a wing. Nothing. It's, it was good. And you, you side-slipped it as well? I tried that, but it, I didn't feel good with it. Yeah. Maybe I'm just um, not quite used to it or it's... It loses speed so very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, it's very draggy, huh? Oh, tell me. And, um, and the AFR worked and then it didn't work. My phone was a waste of time. <laughs> oh, but, we had to try it. Yeah, well, we had to try it, but it didn't work. Yes. Nice. The main issues that we're finding is when, it's, when we're landing it. So power's off, airspeed's low. Um, this thing cannot handle any crosswinds at all. Basically, there's not enough rudder surface area there to do anything. It's basically there to look cool. It does nothing else. As the tail starts to come down, you're losing any authority you have over there. And then she'll go right. Unless there's a crosswind and then it'll go left. If it goes right, that's a good thing because, well, we don't have brakes and there's no tail wheel steering. As the tail comes down, the horizontal stab, all the airflow over that completely blankets the rudder. So it makes it absolutely useless. And if you've got any energy left in the aeroplane as you're rolling along, the, the pup decides that's the time to take things into its own account and go exit stage right. Every time. Well, unless it goes left but it always goes right. 
and less there's a crosswind. See, as it sits now in the three-point attitude, the wings are actually past their stalling point. So I think they're about 19 degrees or something like that. But that's way past what this wing can do for at the stalling angle. So you gotta think about that when you're landing. A three-pointer, the thing's stalled. And with all of those wires and everything like that, the thing is not flying either. So a go around at that point, um, with the troubles we have, we have with the rudder, uh, engine torque, all of that sort of stuff comes into play. Um, you really, you really need to think about that. You need to be aware of that. So all you can do when it starts to swing is use engine power because there's no rud there's no rudder that's effective. There's no brakes and you've got no steering. So all you can do is give it a good, good blast of engine power and that'll pull the engine, pull the airframe straight again, ish. And that works great if it's going to the right. If it goes to the left, engine power is not going to help. In fact, it'll make it worse. So that's where if we have any little crosswinds and it starts to go that way, mm, fun times. Basically, you're a passenger until everything stops. So the engine went well again this time. So temperatures worked really well and after a really long taxi, never missed a beat. So I think we're onto something there. Cooling was beautiful. So um, yeah, I think, I think uh, the cooling into the back of the engine is, is, a, is the trick with these things, I think. So best conditions that we've found so far is if you had about five knots straight down the runway. It just seems to help things. But it's better than calm conditions. Calm conditions can give you a little bit of a, a gust here and there, a little swirl, and that's enough to give you a bit of grief with this thing. That's what we're learning anyway. This is, what have we got, about five hours on this now. So um, still learning all the little details, but they're the main ones at the moment. Getting better every time, and we're still playing around with CG at the moment, which is helping a lot. So, um, but we are pretty happy with the engine now. It's performing quite nicely and, and it doesn't seem to be getting hot or there's no sign or, or anything of vapor lock. So we're pretty happy with that. Back home again now, Rosie's all put back to bed now. Uh, that flight was great. I think that was the longest flight that we've done so far in the test, about half an hour or so. Um, but it's working really well. The, um, the stalls went really well. It's uh, no wing drop, um, very benign, very, very docile. The engine worked really well this time. So even during the long taxi back, we would have taxied at least 10 minutes on the ground um, and it never missed a beat. So that's excellent. I think we've got that cooling system um, down pat. Um, that's I think that's the key with those those engines is um, the cooling to the back to the accessories at the back of the engine. Um, very important there. Um, not so much the cylinders, they're going to cop the airflow, that's for sure. But um, just getting that cold air at the back is the key. And moving that firewall back um, to give it a bit of room there is, is um, made a big difference. Um, Paddy's starting to get the hang of taxiing it as well now. so. Um, did a few changes to the skid there so it's a bit more of a it digs in a bit more and tracks better so um which is good because um i'm not the fittest bloke around anymore and and um yeah i don't mind chasing an aeroplane across the paddock um but it's nice that he can do it himself now that's great so um yeah he's starting to get the hang of the aeroplane and handling and landing and all of that it's still the wing loading on this is really really low so it, it it'll find every every bump in the air so and and um so early mornings is the best to fly this thing we've worked out until we get a bit more confidence in and un understanding of it i suppose uh, worked really well really cool um i i say we a lot um paddy's the uh, paddy's it's a it's his aircraft he, he designed it he built it um i'm just really lucky enough to be a part of it I mean, it's just cool, really cool. I love being there, um, just to just to take videos and and talk about it afterwards. So, um, but it's all Patty.
The main reason I made this video um, was because uh, just for the, all the little quirks that we're learning on this aircraft, it's really hard to find some good information about these things and um, and the stuff we've learned by accident, <laughs> more so than anything, and um, then um, I wish we knew about beforehand. Or just even just a, a, a highlight, a, a remember, of the of the basic things that we we all forgotten about basically it's like it's like um expecting to jump out of a modern day car into an old one and expecting it to, to perform the same uh, they just don't they'll come around and bite you when you're not ready for it so i wish we knew more about that and were a bit more of aware of it so um uh, that's it they're, they're a great fun little airplane they really are if you'd build on something along this line, uh, World War One aircraft, they'd, they'd go for it. They're really cool. If you need some, you know, want to know a bit more about the things we've learnt, just let us know. Drop us a line. We're happy to let you know all of the little tricks that we've learnt over the time. It might be helpful for what you're doing. So uh, don't need to relearn what we've learnt. So anyway, good fun. We're getting there. Yeah, I think the next few flights will be excellent. Anyway. Back to what I'm doing. I'm looking for a ruler here somewhere. Don't know where I'll put it. It's around here somewhere. <clears throat> anyway. Yep, next time.